Here we go again, the Love Island conveyor belt is churning out the usual suspects. We've got a square-headed semi-pro footballer, a blonde social media influencer named Molly, and the token black girl who will inevitably be left humiliated when she realizes the darkest shade of chocolate that these lads like is of a milky bar. The internet's talking about it and so are we. Like and subscribe to the channel. Let's meet this year's contestants. It's here, the summer is here and Love Island is back. We have got the most unoriginal, predictable cast yet. First up, we've got Mehdi. He's giving me Toby vibes. I think girls love my je ne sais quoi. I think that's how I win them over. I always get what I want. <laughs> I'm so excited to be in the villa because I could bring fire and make girls fall in love with me. Villainous vibes. He's going to be the villain of the year. I can see it. He's going to bring the mischief. He's basically a French Toby. We've also got Molly. I don't drink. I don't use dating apps. It's literally a problem for some people. And it's like, you're a party pooper, you're boring. But that's not the case. I am very fun and very outgoing. An unoriginal Molly May cut out. She's the fun party girl. She comes across as quite likable to be fair. Uh, but then these VTs can be quite misleading. So only time will tell. Now Love Island wouldn't be the same without its square headed semi-professional footballer. So here we have Tariq. He's here to cause a bit of mischief. He's gonna be the playboy of the villa. He's gonna break hearts. I think people don't expect me to be like so fiery because I'm quite small. They might feel like they can try me, but don't try me. <laughs> the little rocket Ruchi, I think she's quite down to earth. She's quite likable. I think she's gonna do well. I think she'll be liked by both the girls and the boys. A lot of people think I'm arrogant, but I think when they get to know me, they realize I'm actually a nice guy at heart. I just seem arrogant. Anyone that says that they're arrogant is probably really arrogant. And there has to be a token blonde girl in there that always pretends that she has a lower IQ than what she actually has. VT so far seem quite tame. I feel like they've been toned down a bit compared to previous seasons. A few years ago, they would have said some outrageous things on these VTs. So I think they've definitely been watered down and they're more PC now. I would say I'm a bit high maintenance. Sometimes I just feel like I'm living in my own movie and I'm the star. <laughs> I have a lot of love to give. I am the fellow wifey package. So I'm gonna find a guy that's gonna appreciate that and not take me for granted like, you know, the past ones have. I'm so excited to get in the Love Island villa, you know, meet some new talent. Now Ella comes across as pretty likable. She's a dark horse, she's one to watch. For me, probably the winner. Let's see, only time will tell. George's VT was pretty boring to be honest. I was expecting very cheeky chappy vibes and I'm getting Hugo vibes from previous seasons. Uh, you know, he's, I think he'll struggle in there. I think the girls will be interested at the start because he's a good looking guy, but then the chat won't live up to it. So they'll eventually distance themselves from him and he'll be alone for a while. You know, I think he'll be the Dr. Alex or the Hugo of this series. A good looking lad, but won't get any attention from the girls. We have also got Catherine. We've got you one day 2.0 uh, in the form of Irish real estate agent Catherine. She seems nice, you know, sadly, she's not going to get the attention in there because as we know, the lads in there do not like themselves a bit of melanin. So I think she'll be picked last and she'll probably get in a friendship couple. And then finally, we've got Andre. He seems pretty smooth, uh, a bit of a troublemaker. So let's see how it goes. Let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of this year's contestants? Like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll be talking about all things Love Island from here on out. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.